standing here in Castle Street and behind us down there is Crown Street. But just around the corner, there's a place called Seaforth House. And that used to be the Marine. That was the original Marine Hotel before the new Marine was built on, on Shore Road. Now, at one time, there was a man called Spurrier. He, I suppose he'd be Victorian. He'd be what they would have called a masher of possibly a heavy swell, you know, he was a real large order. He used to come in from Douglas on a, a little sort of a, a carriage drawn by two horses and he used to drink there in the Marine. Now, there was a time he was in there and a man said to him, I bet you that you cannot drink this full pint of raw eggs in one go. And he drank it and he died. And it turned out that the man who had challenged him was a man called Palmer, Dr. Palmer, who years later ended up being hanged in England because he poisoned a lot of other people. So we reckon that he was probably the first victim of Palmer the Poisoner. And there's a man who was living there in Seaforth House and he was bothered by uh, the apparition of a man up on uh, the landing on the stairs, a, a really gloomy looking man in a top hat, which Naturally enough, you don't, uh, you don't want to be meeting every night. But later on, this man was shown a picture of Palmer, and he said, that's him. That's the ghost that's haunting this place. But they reckon Spuria also haunts, or, or used to haunt the street. Every night, people said that they could hear Spuria's two horses and carriage rattling up Castle Street here on his way back to Douglas. Now, Betty Kelly asked John Cairn, how are you settling in, John? He said, well, it's, it's all right there, he said, but every night I'm being woken up by horses running up the street. <laughs> There's also another story that Fred Palmer had written in one of his books. He said, if you see a horse-drawn hearse in Crown Street, you know there's going to be a death in your family. 